everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today is Valentine's Day, and that can only mean one thing. Well, maybe two or three things. But, things are about to get super duper sexual up in here. At least in terms of beer. We're talking about beer. You guys are fucking perverts, you know that? God, I, you know, I don't know what's wrong with you. I'll let it slip this time, but in honor of Valentine's Day, I'm going to be reviewing a very special beer. This is Foothills of Barrel Age Sexual Chocolate. So this is their Imperial Stout, extremely highly regarded. They brew it using organic cocoa nibs, and then, of course, they're aging it in bourbon barrels. Now, i got to give a huge shout out to my good friend Don for hooking me up with a bottle of this. Even though I'm from North Carolina, as many of you guys probably know, I have never gotten to try this beer. It's one of those things you got to camp out overnight, literally overnight for. So I've never had it, but yeah, really excited for this one. Getting close to a year since it's been released, so it's got a little bit of age on it. Again, Don, thank you so much, buddy. You are the man. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, yeah. Way, way big, big chocolate right up front. Yeah, huge, dark, rich, fudgy chocolate. Nice amount of vanilla in there, too. I was getting, like, a little bit of toffee, maybe some caramel maltiness, too. A little bit of roasted notes. Hit a bourbon, not super strong. You definitely get a little bit of bourbon, but much bigger in like the chocolate and the vanilla. Yeah, almost a, a slight kind of like burnt sugary type of note too. Yeah, lots and lots of chocolate. I can see why this one's called sexual chocolate. Smells awesome. Smells like a really just big, delicious dessert beer. Let's go ahead, check out the taste. Oh, wow. Yeah, right up front, just layers and layers of chocolate. Deep, dark, fudgy, fudgy chocolate. But then there's the vanilla. There's, like, some caramel sweetness in there. It's, it's almost like, you know, brownie batter kind of thing going on. Mmm. That is rich. That is decadent. Yeah, really, really fudgy. Mmm. Almost kind of reminds me of, like, just brownies, too. Really, really nice, though. Yeah, toffee, caramel, really big malty notes. Bit of roasted malt on the back end, too. Getting a very, very subtle hint of the oak. Not a ton, but there is enough that it dries out a little bit on the back end. Almost get hints of, like, dark fruits on the finish, too. But, yeah, just chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. It's in layers. It's all over this beer, guys. Lots of vanilla, too. Just really sweet, rich. Again, it's, it's a very, very decadent dessert beer. Not super big on the bourbon, though. There is some bourbon, but really what you're going to notice more of is the vanilla, more, you know, of like the oak on the finish. But, yeah, not a ton of bourbon. It's barely aged for four months, so I'm not super surprised. I mean, you know, it makes sense, but I'm glad that there's so much vanilla that's come out of the barrels, too. Yeah, nice roasted malt notes. It's creamy. It's got a really nice, thick, chewy kind of mouthfeel on this one. Full-bodied. Really, really nice. And even though there are a lot of sweeter notes to it, it still maintains a nice balance. So there's a little bit of bitterness. There's a little bit of dryness in there. And it just makes for really, really... It's a very easy drinking beer for almost 10%. Super smooth, making for something that I think is just dangerously, dangerously drinkable. This is an awesome beer to open for Valentine's Day. I'm really glad I finally got to try this one. You know, it's something that you can split with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, whoever. And, you know, it just makes for something that's really nice. And it's also great because you can have this as dessert after dinner or whatever you guys do. Just an awesome, awesome beer. Really nice. Again, Don, I've said it twice now. I'm going to say it once more. Thank you, sir. You rock for hooking me up with this one. It's a damn delicious beer, even if it's not super bourbon barrel forward. In terms of rating, guys, I'm going with a 9.3 out of 10. It's an awesome beer. But in terms of the barrel-aged Imperial Stout Spectrum, and there's just so many now, 
it falls a little bit short, unfortunately. It's delicious beer, lots of desserty notes, unfortunately, and of course, big chocolate notes, which, you know, that's the whole point of this beer. However, because the bourbon in the barrel isn't super present, I've got to ding it a little bit. Hence the 9.3. I still think it's a fantastic beer, but when you're putting it up against, you know, some of the giants, in my opinion, like, you know, the brewery beers, Jackie O's barrel aged beers, you know, Oscar Blues barrel aged 1050, it just. It doesn't have enough bourbon, doesn't have enough barrel. I would love to see this with maybe like six to eight months of age on it, you know, in the barrels, but still awesome stuff. If you guys have had this beer, let me know down in the comments below. And also, let me know what you're doing for Valentine's Day. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button for me. If you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe. And of course, I love you guys. I love you so much. So again, Thank you, and I hope whatever you're doing involves good, great, or amazing craft beer. Cheers.